Hello everybody and welcome back to Letton Farm. I've just been over at the dealership and I've been basically discussing what I should do for the best with the front loader, telehandler, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that I don't want to get it just purely because it's too expensive. My viewers who have watched this vlog have basically overall said yes, get it, except for about 9% I think, uh, who have actually suggested to get a front loader for the Massey Ferguson tractor which I actually think is a good idea too. I did just speak to the dealership, they said they might have something. They've got some old one which they're currently repainting, um, which I, th I think is actually pretty much finished, it's just the finishing touches need to be done. Um, so today I might be buying a front loader, I might also be buying the the old vintage loader, uh, the self propel one, but only a decent price. I'm not paying the price I've got it currently for. It just seems too expensive. It seems very expensive, in fact, I think it's £15,000 plus a few thousand for the attachments, which just seems absolutely extreme for such a thing. So yeah, here we are. What I want to do today is start to look at this field with the potential of uh, even buying some sheep today, because I do have some money, I've got £17,000, £5,000 for the upcoming mortgage payment, and obviously something to live off. Um, so if I do get some sheep, I can't get too many. But I've got loads of grass here, so that's good. Um, just need to have a bit of a tidy up. So the troughs are all here from when I purchased the farm in the first place. That's really good. That saves a big job. Um, I even have some, some pens over here. So it really is set up, ready to go. It's just a case of buying the sheep in the first place. And because I don't have any kind of transportation for the sheep, it's going to cost me more money for that. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a wander around, just sort of assess the entire field, make sure... It is actually okay for sheep to go into here. I think it is. It just seems, just seems perfect. And I've also got this field over here for extra grass bales, and also the one over there, and the one which I've just finished over there. So, uh, what? <laughs> what is this? I've never seen this before. It is a hole with some bales in, and a plank, which seems hollow. Wow. That is, that is full of water. It's about halfway up the wheel, actually. It's not full of water. A Zeta 491. Can't quite get through the gap. So that is some kind of underground bunker. That's incredible. That's not going to run though, is it? That is not going to run after those floods we had. The flood water was like way up here. It was, it was also in the house, up to about four feet high. So this must have been just completely underwater. That is never going to run. That is incredible. I was never expecting an underground bunker to be in the sheep field. That's why I've never seen it before. It's completely disguised behind the hedge. But I need to get that out of there. The bales must just be to, uh, I don't know, keep it dry. <laughs> they haven't worked very well. So that's a change of plan. I'm definitely going to try and do some sheep today, but I want to get that out of there. So, well, I need a front loader now to get those bales out. So, hmm, I'm going to go and grab my uh, Matty Ferguson 675, take it over to the dealership, see if I can get a, a front loader for it. If I can, Great, if I can't then um, I suppose I could try and borrow something. Yeah, so the first job is just to get the bales out of the front of the bunker, if that's what it is. It's just like a hole with some planks of wood over it. I'm going to call it a bunker, it sounds impressive. Uh, but then after that, I don't know how I'm actually going to get the tractor out. Probably with some rope or something tied to the front of the tractor, I don't know. I think it's in forwards actually. I really don't know. Well, I'm going to try and get this kitted up with a front loader bracket and a front loader. They said they have actually got a loader, it's just... Well, they claim it's not finished, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go and speak to them again. I've only just been here literally five minutes ago. Uh, but that is too exciting to ignore. Okay, I've spoken to them. They say it actually is finished, so I don't know where that confusion came from. Uh, but it is going to be very expensive because they've paid a lot of money renovating it. And literally just finish painting it as well. So uh, four and a half thousand pounds. It does seem very expensive. 
but I'm going to buy it. This doesn't include a front loader bracket for this tractor. I'm going to give it to them, hopefully they can fit one this morning, and then I'm going to be, hopefully, be able to attach that to it. I probably should have discussed that with them first. Let's just hope they will actually fit one. Uh, yeah, I didn't mention that it didn't have a bracket for it. You join me much later, it's now 5 to 10, and much poorer. They charged me £1,800 for this to be put on here. In fact, you can barely even see it. Uh, but it was it was quite expensive in the first place. The uh, I think the bracket was £800, and then... I can't believe they charged me £1,000 for labour. Maybe it was the other way around, not too sure. But yeah, this is the bracket, which runs underneath the tractor. Down here and down to the front. Uh, which means I now can attach to this. And yes, they did think I was a complete buffoon to buy the, the front loader before even inquiring about fitting a front loader bracket to it. Um, because I could have just gone and bought a front loader and never been able to fit it if it would not be compatible. So that was all fun. Uh, they had a good laugh about it though, it was all good. All lots of fun. Uh, and this of course doesn't include any kind of attachments which I need to buy as well. Ooh, very nice. So that really has changed this and of course it means I'm not buying the even more expensive vintage loader. Um, which I, I did want to get, I really did. If the price had been right I would have got it, but it just didn't seem new enough uh, for the price. Uh, that was the only thing. Otherwise, yes, I would have bought it straight away. Okay, so I'm going to go and speak to them again. They are expecting me to go back in there to uh, finish off payment anyway. About, uh, I need to go and discuss a front loader palletine, maybe a bucket, I'm not too sure. I think I might go for the pallet forks. I, I, I might get a, a bell spike now, but if not later. So, yeah. Hello again. Welcome back. It's now 26 minutes past 2 in the afternoon. I haven't done much today. The reason for this is because I've been waiting for this. And you're probably thinking, why have you gone and bought a bucket with a grapple? You were supposed to be buying a pallet fork or a bell spike. Simple answer. There's no bell spikes. There's no pallet forks. They only had this. And this has been delivered in while I've been waiting. In fact, I actually had to get it from another depot. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've got. I'm going to have to try and move the bucket... Move the bales. <laughs> move the bucket. Move the bales with this thing. But I'm holding out hope. I think that uh, being able to move bales with a grapple will be fairly simple. But we'll see. And again, it cost me £1,200. I probably should have just gone for the other loader. I really wasn't expecting to spend so much money today. But the bucket is new. It's like built off original designs. Uh, so that's nice. Ooh, I shouldn't have pulled out. Uh, yeah, so... Here we go. I'm now much poorer, but I have a brand new use for the tractor. It's more multi-purpose. And of course, I have found something incredible, which, but it could actually be just scrap. It, it, it technically could be scrap. It's been in the flood water, and I have no idea how long it's been there for anyway. So it is just... This is a gamble. But I do need the front loader anyway for bales, so... Yeah. I don't really need the grapple, though. Speed tractor. It changes the look of this tractor. It makes it look more aggressive. It's got the pincers on the front. Oh, and of course, the other thing is how to actually get in here. I I don't know, because I don't want to drive on the board, because it's probably a bit rotten by now. I can't... No, I can't drive over here. So I'm going to have to go through here, through the hedge. Failing that, if I can't do it, I'll have to rip the hedge out. This is all in a desperate attempt to retrieve a tractor which might be, like I say, might just be <laughs> for the scrapyard, which would be really sad. Because it looks quite nice. Oh, opening the door. Didn't latch properly. There we go. Well, I've been trying this now for a little while, using the grapple, and it does work. It does actually sink into the bells very effectively. The problem I've got is the two-wheel drive tractor. I have no traction on the rear wheels, and it's very steep. It's incredibly steep. Um, I've been using the front loader to try and assist it up. Sort of nudge it up like this, and it does work. Sometimes. <laughs> I've got two bales out so far. But as you can see, it's just very dangerous, this, and it's not something I want to be continuing with. So I need to think of a solution. I might try and drive onto the board. But first, I obviously need to do a bit of a strength test. Uh, so I, I think what I'm going to do is keep 
the tractor on the ground, on the grass here, but push down with the front loader, try and pick up the, the tractor at the front, and if the board can support it, I'm going to say it's safe enough. It's not a very good test, but it, it would be good enough. So here we go. If it does collapse, I need to make sure I'm not too far in. Right. Okay, well that is definitely working. That is off the ground. It's only just on the board though. Again, that is putting all the front weight of the tractor onto the bucket. Seems pretty good. As you can see, it's got some some beams. I think, yeah, it's got a few beams under here. Actually managed to get in now though. Look at that. It's actually submerged to to here. There's the water line. And it's been completely over it. So the engine must be full of water. It's never going to run. Still, I do want to get it out because you never know. I might want to sell it to the dealership and they might want to get it for parts or something. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'm going to continue here. Keep trying to grab these bales, but it's not easy. A four wheel drive tractor would have been easier. And even a bale spike would have been easier, but unfortunately, <laughs> there isn't one available to fit this loader. So I've just got to make do with what I've got. Right, I'm totally on the board. Well, let's just hope I don't plummet to my death. Although it's likely not going to kill me, it's just going to destroy the tractor below. And possibly this tractor too. Okay, so I've managed to get another one out, which is not exactly an achievement. I've still got three in here, completely stuck. So I'm going to just keep battling on, I think. There's nothing else I can really do uh, to try and get these out of here. So I'll see you in a minute. I've managed to get it down there so far that I've sort of picked it up and thrown it onto the board. Seems like a good approach. And another one. Hopefully try and get it onto there looking very promising although that one is right at the back of the other tractor so I don't know how this one's going to go I really didn't think I was going to be doing this today yeah that's kind of working it's not ideal I am touching the other tractor there so I don't want to damage it too much although it's probably just going to get scrapped that's not good Yep, there we go, there we go, keep going, keep going. Talking to the tractor. Yes. Uh, put it onto there as well. No, 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 that was not good. Not good. Yeah, onto the board. Open the grapple. And attempt to reverse it out of here, because this is a very precarious thing to be doing. Oh, no. Yeah, the front loader is the only thing that keeps saving the tractor. And keep pushing it back. Yep, and I've got the plow as well. The plow is there for a bit of ballast on the back. I am really stuck here. After a 7,691 point turn, I've managed to get the tractor out of there. So I'm now going to go over to the tractor down the bottom of the hole and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, switch the ignition on and it's going to fire into life. Of course, it's not. No, never going to happen. It is still even partially submerged. Uh, right, here we go. Let's try it. This is this is difficult. Right, turn in the key now. It's going well. As predicted. Okay, so uh, obviously I need to get it out of there somehow. Maybe tow it out? What can I tow it with? If I tow it, I need to get some kind of rope or chain. I know what I'll do. I'll drop off the plow and make another trip over to the dealership because I know they have loads of tow ropes and stuff. So the only thing is, it's another expense. Hopefully, it's not going to be too expensive. Um, yeah. So what else can I do though? Except for leave it. I could just leave it, but that wouldn't be very fun. Wouldn't be very fun at all. Yeah. Also, having the front loader on makes it very long.
Yep. So, off I go. Back over to the store. Here we are. Okay, I'm not expecting bargains here. They do seem to be very expensive. They do have a chain. They said it's going to cost me £284. Uh, I'm assuming including VAT. So I'm going to buy it. It might come in handy in the future too for other stuff. Although I think it's quite unlikely that I'm going to find another tractor in an underground bunker. My next concern is that the tractor is not going to have the one which is in the bunker. It's not going to have a place to attach this to on either the front or the rear. I just don't know. But there is my chain, as you can see. It's a pretty good chain. Sorry, I just fell over. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's go in the pin there. So as long as I've got a pin on this, the other tractor, it'll be fine. Off we go. I really hope this can pull it out. Again, it's only two-wheel drive. You never know, but the, uh, the 135 might actually do a better job even though that's that's two wheel drive too. Forget what I just said. If it means attaching it to the combine to get it out, I would do that. I need to get it out. Talking about combines, I do need to get the combine over here. My field over there is ready to harvest. So yeah, <laughs> again, I've got the problem of not being able to get the header trailer or get a header through the gate. I need to get a header trailer. So it's, an, it's another expense. I technically can't harvest my field until I get more money. Maybe I have gone a bit over the top today, spending money. Um, but I do have several trailers that I could potentially sell. I have three trailers now. I think I could probably spare one. Replace it with a header trailer. Okay, so I'm going to reverse into here. I just don't know how well this is going to go. I really want it to work. It's just, it probably won't. It'll be stuck there for life. I don't think attaching... The tractor, or, or grabbing the tractor with the bucket's going to work either. Okay, here we are. Oh, that's a bad handbrake. That's the other limitation of the cab. I can only go so far. Amazingly, I have very good news. I did manage to have a swim under the water and get a pin drop through the, the chain and into there. So, with a bit of luck. This is going to work. <laughs> oh, this thing has no power. It, it's because it's so steep, although it is moving. It is moving. That tractor is moving. We're on the way out. It's coming. Here we go. Wow. Out of its grave. It's come out from its grave. Come on, little Zeta. Zeta. No, no, not into the hedge. It doesn't like the daylight. It wants to go back into the darkness. Wow, look at that. The wheels turn. That's promising. Kind of. Doesn't really say much about the engine or gearbox, though. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I have... I technically have another tractor. I don't think it's any good, but I have another tractor. The 4911. Well, let me know what you think if you're watching the vlog. I think I'm going to probably take it over to the dealership, or they're going to have to come and pick it up. Uh, unless I just drag it down the road. See what they think about it. See if they can just give me a, an initial diagnosis of, of what could be wrong. I think I know. I, I think it's... It's full of water, but it can't be hydro-locked or anything. It could be repaired. It could be. It might cost me an absolute fortune if I get them to repair it for me, but it's a tractor. It's a tractor which could potentially be used. I'm quite excited. You can probably tell. Anyway, I was supposed to be buying sheep. I'm going to just put that on hold. I've spent all my money trying to get this tractor out of that bunker over there, which you still wouldn't even know was there. Well, I'm going to finish off just by... Well, detaching the chain, first of all. You need to take the chain off there. Which has done a very good job. But also, I'm going to take off this bucket. And I probably should take the chain off too, actually. Somewhere that I'm not going to lose it, 
like in the barn. And then I know that I do have a few machines over in that field which need to be tidied up so I'll bring them back into here, put them in the shed and then I can go from there really. Right, a place which is not going to get lost is the middle, just there, in the middle of the shed. So let's go and retrieve the baler and the mower. I do also have two bales, weirdly, just sat in this field. If I'm ever feeling poor, at least I know I've got, what would it be, about 70 pounds worth of, uh, of grass just there. Until it rots when it's worth absolutely nothing except for a bit of mould. Mould doesn't tend to be worth much though, that's the issue. Um, yeah, is that fold? No, it's not folded up. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, it really is a tight yard. I'm thinking of redeveloping. It's just the money, as usual. It'd be incredible if the tractor I've just discovered turns out to be some really expensive vintage tractor. I can sell it, even in its seized condition, for thousands of pounds. That would be... that really would be amazing. Right, and finally, I have the mower. So I'm going to start to wrap things up here. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, sorry to anybody who wanted me to get the vintage loader. I just couldn't get it. It was just too expensive. I, I really did want to get it. I think it's still for sale. I don't think anyone else has bought it. So you never know. If I find this tractor isn't capable of lifting too much with this front loader, I could get it if I suddenly make a, a fortune out of something. Oh, I've clipped the gate. Oh, no. That isn't good. Yeah, if I make a fortune, I can get it, but uh, then I'll probably just get a really expensive <laughs> loader. Uh, that's not going to fit through here, is it? Or maybe it is, it's just going to be very tight. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, certainly not what I don't think anyone would have expected. But um, yeah, there we go. I've found a tractor. See you again soon for more crazy adventures over on Letton Farm. Until then, see you again soon. Bye for now.